doesn't belong in MMA. That's I mean, what he's that, saying. Yeah. That's a circus match that, I, <laughs> that well, he wants to have. Yeah. He said. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of like David versus Goliath, but you know, Goliath, you know, you, you, that one little finger mm -hmm. flick, you know, you get hit <laughs> by that, then uh -huh. that that kind of causes a problem. Okay. Remember when he dropped uh, Ari Gale? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. touched was, him. Did yeah. you see that match, yeah. Stuart? It, yeah, it yeah, was I like, saw that, yeah. It was like I don't even know what he did. He just kind of yeah. like moved his it, hand. It, it, yeah, it was kind of unreal. <laughs> But we thought um, Ari Goulet had like a heart attack or something. We're like, what oh, happened? Yeah. <laughs> like, what happened, man? Yeah. I think Home Man Choi is just so big and yeah. so yeah. strong, right? People don't realize how much you know power he's got. Uh -huh. It's like imagine a safe being swung at your head. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he used to knock off people by lifting his knee up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you know those pounding things, the hammer fist. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he must be religious. He seems to be uh, having a few words with oh. someone up above. Oh. I always like to use my entrance song as a way to get kind of motivated, you know, get it, get. <laughs> get in the zone. I don't know how guys, you know, put on this kind of music and get <laughs> geared up for a fight. These Russian guys has always yeah. they've got some powerful <laughs> like yeah, some powerful tunes. You know, back in early 2000, these Jap uh, these Brazilian fighters versus Russian fighters was a big theme in MMA. Oh yeah. I, was, I feel like watching. You know, uh, I, I feel like I went back to those days because you know these <laughs> Brazilian fighters. Yeah. And Russian fighter finally faced off in World FC. You know, I feel like I'm at a high school prom right now. <laughs> <laughs> Having a slow dance. Unlike El Nuro Agraev, Fony Torres finished almost all these fights in submission. All right, we'll see how this one turns out. I, I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty intense matchup. Uh, Ronis Torres, 34 and 5. So much experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Korean song, huh? This is Korean, it's a Korean song. song. <laughs> Oh, a tribute to Korea. <laughs> Sounds he's, good. He's hopping up the stairs. And the official introductions from Jeff Houston.
And the two face off. Monis Torres in the pink. What, what do you call that color? Hot pink. Hot, hot, pink. hot pink. It's Tony Torres who's taking the center of the cage. El Nior Agaev mm -hmm. is in the uh, center. Agaev, a versatile striker. Tony Torres, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai practitioner. You know, these fighters, these, Jap no, these Brazilian fighters like Torres, he, they go forward with strikes and trying to get their opponents taken down. There, yeah. he's getting, he's got one. Well, <laughs> he's got it now. It's like he got exactly what he was looking for. Ended up on top half guard. He's also got the cage side, just going to make it difficult for uh, Elna to get up. He's past the side. Powerful pounding right there. Oh, and shit. Oh, he's passed it just like that. Yeah. If he wants to submit his opponent, this is the chance because they're not sweaty yet. Oh, he just oh. bumped him off, bumped him off. Beautiful transition. Beautiful escape by a new Aga F. Torres keep putting a lot of pressure. Torres is controlling uh, from from the side control, but he doesn't. Okay, he has the Kimura grip right Kimura, now. Yeah. Oh man. That's pretty, oh, he's got it right there. It up. He's keeping it straight. Oh, uh, yeah. it, you know his position is he not per, the side. Uh, good enough. Oh. Yeah, he's, over oh, the he's side getting now. in there though. Torres it has to step step up with his left foot, otherwise this is going to be hard to complete. He's defending against it. Agaev. See his left foot, towards his left foot, should go forward. Otherwise, he's not going to make it. Okay, right there. there. He's got it. Go. Wow. He has wow. it. He's in it. He's cranking it. He has it. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, oh. Wow. wow. That went way back. Yeah. That's just like, yeah. wow. He held it for as long as possible. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, man. Another great fight. Yeah. Completely, like, dominant jujitsu. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I mean, how much better can you get? Um, I, I mean, how much how much more one-sided can it be? I mean, just. Uh -huh. I think his game plan worked. You know, these fighters, these Brazilian fighters, who trained in uh, Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, they always do that. They want to finish it that way. Yeah. Yeah. He it just threw some big worked. bombs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Took him down. Agaev should have stayed longer on the feet. I think that's what he wanted. Huh. <laughs> I think that's probably what he wanted, yeah. but didn't work out that way. And Honis Torres gets the win and an entry into the quarterfinals. He's talking again to somebody yeah. in the above. Seems pretty emotional. Uh -huh. Wow, I can't wait to see who he's going to face in the next round. Yeah. That kick catch. Yeah. This movement to like almost north south, yeah, mm -hmm. north south position. Yeah, and because Agaev, he was he was doing his best. He knew it was coming, you know. Yeah. And he was doing his best to squirm his way. He's like he had to hold on to that half guard. 
Well, I guess if he had, to, uh, if he was holding on to that, Torres would have gone down to the ground to get that submission work. Usually, you don't want to put in like all that power in the first round submission try. Yeah. But yeah. Honey Torres put everything there. Yeah, I think he knew it was uh, it was gonna work. He went for it. Honey Torres. Nova Uniao. His upper body is just huge. <laughs> yeah, you so don't, strong, you don't right? expect that kind of uh, physique in uh, yeah. jiu-jitsu. I mean, they're, they're, they got good physiques, but yeah. he has a lot of strength, too. Yeah. Their upper body is made for their Kimura. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could see he wasn't going to let go of that arm mm -hmm. once he had it. And that concludes the sixth match of our tournament, the $1 million Road to Azor tournament. I'm Young Kim with Young Jun Jung and Stuart Gooch. Main matchup, the main card, main event. So I told you I'm jet lagged a little bit, so I'm like <laughs> saying outlandish stuff every now and then, but. Uh, Next up, we're going to have Tom Santos facing Lee Chol Nam. The rematch. This is the rematch, right? Yeah. No. They did yeah. it before. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of Santos, wondering. Santos, yeah, mm -hmm. Santos won. It was kind of a shock. It was, uh, uh, yeah, Lee Chol Nam dominated the first round. Yeah. But in the second round, he seems not moving at all. 